All right, so this is it. This is the end. This is day six. So excited for you, so proud of you that you've made it this far on your journey. And I'm just trusting the Lord that He's just already done some amazing things in your life this week and that he's, you've really been rocked. And, and I just want to uh, tell you that your story is unique to you and what God's been doing in your life is unique to you. And so uh, leverage that. And so we have at, at church, we, we have invite cards that we uh, that you have the opportunity to get every week. If you'll take some of those, invite people to come along part of this journey with you because your, uh, your story really right now is one of a kind and it, it's a testimony to what God can do. I'm going to share one thought with you today and that's this. Jesus did his first miracle. It was a really unique miracle and, and uh, we're probably all familiar when he turns water into wine and this is what makes this miracle kind of unique is he wasn't ready to kind of launch into doing miracles yet and it, it really is a favor he does for his mom and, and for some people at a wedding and, and it just it was kind of like this this awkward moment but here, here's what happens is they run out of wine at a wedding and it's it, they're only a couple of days in and, and they're supposed to, you know, it's really embarrassing for the family uh, that they've run out of wine. And so, but Jesus asked them to go grab a bunch of uh, barrels and to fill them up with water. And so they fill up these barrels with water and then Jesus does a miracle where he turns water uh, into wine. And, and what I find interesting about this story and how it parallels with where you're at right now is what, what happened during the miracle is that the contents of the barrel changed, but the outside of the barrel doesn't change. And so that, that's a lot like how our lives may be as we begin this process of living a life for Jesus. The contents, what's going on on the inside of us now, who we are in Christ, and, and what we're beginning to live out on, on the inside is changed because God, God has done a miracle through that, like we talked about a couple days ago, through that sozo or through that salvation process. He's done a miracle in our hearts and in our lives. But the outside, may not change. In fact, you still may, you know, have to do, I'm still really angry, or I still struggle with a lot of sin, or I still drink too much, or I still, I don't want to be smoking cigarettes, I still smoke cigarettes. The outside hasn't changed. So here, here's what, here's what's important to understand. That the way that change often works in our lives, it's from the inside out. And so don't be discouraged that, you know, hey, I've been doing this, I've been reading my Bible, I've been whatever, but I'm not changing on the outside. You know what, that's okay. God's concerned about the inside first. Eventually those things that are on the fringe or that are on the outside of your life, those will eventually all fall off. I believe that eventually God will work on those things. But be encouraged because what God is doing in you right now is a lot like those wine barrels. It's, it's changing on the inside. It's doing a deep work on the inside first. So I just want to say congratulations. Be encouraged. We're proud of you. We love you. If there's anything we can do for you to make this journey any better, let us know and we'll see you tomorrow in church.